Let's so on to our health right now. Now, a couple of us here at Express have been down and out with a cough or a cold. Our poor Leanna is not feeling so great at the moment. So I think we can definitely relate to this next story. Nearly every parent is familiar with this scenario, all right? Your young child gets a cold after seven to 10 days, they're better, and then before you know it, they're just sick again. But this time around, the infection turns into an ear infection or a nasty chest infection. And this can happen eight to 10 times a year. Scary, often requiring repeated use of antibiotics. So how do we improve the situation? Well, I went on the hunt for some valuable information to tackle the cold head on the first time. We discuss these infections with Dr. Peter Fisher, Director of Research at the Royal London Hospital for Integrated Medicine and physician to Her Majesty the Queen. We asked why children get ill so often. Well, I think, if anything, immunity levels, strangely, have declined. And this may be due to early influences. One, one thing that we do know for certain is that asthma has become much more common. And the reason for this appears to be the hygiene hypothesis. Kids are too clean these days. It does seem that children, for instance, children who are raised on farms get less asthma. Children who have older, older siblings get less asthma than other children. And that seems to be because they're exposed to, to particular kinds of bugs earlier in their life. That helps their, their, their immune system to mature. So possibly, I mean, it sounds paradoxical, but as a result of children being too clean, not getting exposed to, to bacteria early in life, their immune systems develop more slowly. And there is some evidence that upper respiratory tract infections are getting more common. RTI is respiratory tract infections. And we divide them into two kinds, the so-called URTIs, upper respiratory tract infections, meaning coughs and colds, ear infections, and lower respiratory tract infections, which means bronchitis, that sort of thing, croup, bronchiolitis, which is similar to asthma, but young children don't get asthma, they get bronchiolitis, meaning inflammation of the, the, the very small airways, and they can get pneumonia. There is a vicious cycle linking upper respiratory tract infections and lower respiratory tract infections with the use of antibiotics, with time off school, and then you get into a vicious cycle that having had that once, you're more likely to get it again and more likely to require antibiotics. And part of the problem is that when you use antibiotics, they will kill maybe 98% of the bacteria, but the 2% they leave behind are the really vicious ones, the ones that are really difficult to treat, and they may raise their ugly head. A few of them will, will hang around. And when the, the child is again vulnerable because of a respiratory tract infection, they will rear their ugly head, and you will have an infection that is very difficult to treat. Which begs the question, can we prevent our children from getting sick so often and avoid them developing the more serious infections? Dr. Fisher says yes. My recommendation for treating and preventing RTIs in children is, first of all, good hygiene. So sneeze into a tissue, blow your nose into a tissue, and throw it away afterwards and wash your hands. So that means the parent has to make sure the child does that. So good hygiene it must be the, the sort of bedrock of prevention. But then after that, echinophos for children is certainly a useful option. First of all, it's safe very rare to get allergic reactions or, or any serious problem. Unlike some of the other options, a whole lot of cod medicines for children have been taken off the market because they are dangerous. They can cause, actually make the, the chest situation worse, suppress the cough, but actually make the, the long-term problem worse. So a kind of force for children is certainly a useful option because you can use it safely at an early stage. Above all, what you want to do is to avoid a respiratory tract infection escalating. Of course, coughs and colds are, are ubiquitous in children. They're, we're not trying to pretend they shouldn't get them. But what we do want to stop is them developing into, for instance, middle ear infections, which can be extremely painful and can even go chronic. You can get what they call chronic glue ear, which causes deafness. And that actually has been shown to be associated with worse school performance. Children who are deaf, not surprisingly, don't do as well as school. And then there are other, you know, really serious problems, croup, bronchiolitis, even pneumonia. By nipping these respiratory tract infections in the bud, you can prevent these really nasty complications. Echinophores for children can be used preventatively. There is good quality evidence showing that if you give children Echinophores Junior daily during the cold season, basically during the winter, you will reduce the chances of them getting a cough or cold by about one third. 
and reduce the, the chances of them getting a lower respiratory tract infection, that's to say bronchiolitis, croup, those kind of really nasty things, by two thirds, 67%, and reduce their use of antibiotics by a similar number, by around 70%. Making it so much easier for parents is that Akina Force Junior is a chewable, tasty, orange-flavored tablet, which helps prevent and treat colds, flu, and their complications in children from as young as two years old. Impressive indeed. Now, next week is our grand finale for the Ikina Force Switzerland series, and we some we got some rather exciting news to reveal as well. For the first time, the world has clinical proof of the effectiveness of echinacea in children in the form of Avogel's Ikina Force, and next week we are going to reveal the intricates of this breakthrough study to you. A. Vogel's Echinophores is the world's strongest herbal product that's clinically proven to prevent and treat colds, flu and their complications. 